Hello, Vettel121 here, and welcome. This is going to be a, well, not really a different, I suppose, Let's Play that I've done before, but it is going to be a blind Let's Play of a game that I'm guessing is fairly obscure, and uh, this game is actually done by Kizareth Studios. Um, they do seem to watch my videos, and they do comment on my videos saying, hey, you know, nice job, we like your videos. And they sent me a free copy of their game twice, so uh, I guess they want people to see it. They're seeing my Let's Plays as an outlet or a way uh, for their game to be seen. And I think like five or six other LPers on YouTube have actually done this game. Uh, the only one I know of is Lancer D1984, a uh, good guy. Um, I think, and the other Let's Players I don't really know or watch, so. But anyways, uh, yeah, I'm going to blind Let's Play this game. I haven't played it. Uh, I haven't watched any other LPs on it, of course. I do know that there were a few other LPs on it just because I went to their website and uh, I looked at their reviews page or whatever. And, uh, yeah, this RPG is supposed to be a 2D RPG. It's supposed to be darker in tone. So I figured that might be nice to try. So... I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope I enjoy it. And without further ado, let's begin. And yeah, like I said before, this is Kizareth Studios. And they proudly present... Chronicles of a Dark Lord, Episode 1, Tides of Fate. So I'm guessing this is like a series of games, maybe like a trilogy or something. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start a new game. Millennia go. Continents of what would later be known as the Myria territories and the Rim Kingdom landmass were united into a single landmass called Shenandoah. Some nice music going on there. The civilization of Shenandoah thrived beyond measure until one day when a dark sorcerer took it upon himself to unleash the dark gods to flesh-bound beings. He succeeded. That success marked the beginnings of the end for the Shenandoahian way of life. Once the dark deities were unleashed as flesh-bound beings, they declared war against the entire world of Korra. With the unified army consisting of those both of darkness and light dealing the decisive blow to the dark deities, victory would finally be attained. This war came to be known as the Great Calamity, and due to the catastrophic nature of the spells and abilities wielded by both sides, the land of Shenandoah would be torn asunder. Millennia would pass, and the war soon faded out into memory. Until the day would come when under the faded black eclipse a boy was born. He who would be fated to become known as the greatest dark lord of all time. So it kind of has like a Secret of Mana-esque beginning here. This boy's name is Magus Dragon Lee, and these are the Chronicles of a Dark Lord. Yeah, very nice. I like the uh, the opening dialogue there. And I'm not just saying that. I actually do. I like it a lot. Okay, so this is Exodus Lee. My son, the war with the pathetic people of Verana will shortly come to an end. I intend to take our forces and crush the remaining... Baranian resistance. Okay, so this must be the main character here, Magus Lee. Glorious end to a long war and a true victory for our family, my father. What would you have me do now? Magus, hold your tongue, your father is speaking. Uh, Magus, you will remain here with your mother and guard the manor. You are still too young and inexperienced to take command over the army. To be honest with you, Magus, I think you may never be ready. Wow. Such harsh words. Father, please, if you allow me just this one chance to prove myself against the Varanian oil terry, I will show you that I am no more than a Kepa. No, did you hear me before? I understand your desire, but you are not ready for the task ahead. Shara, tell him. Magus, you will listen to your father and obey his orders. Oh, man. Parents, no wonder this guy's got problems, man. His parents are assholes. You will remain here, Magus. My word is fine. Final, shower my love, I will see you upon my return. Okay. 
okay, and he disappears. And, uh, okay. Alright, so we can control our character here. Uh, yeah, I'm just kind of hitting buttons. Uh, I guess with the menu, you hit the whatever button, and I can't really tell you because I'm not really using an actual... Well, I'm using a PC controller that's kind of laid out or mapped out like a PlayStation 2 controller, but... Okay, we got a menu here. We can equip. Those are our stats. Wow, level 25, and his class is an Arcane Warrior, and he's got Arcanus equipment. And it can only be worn by an arcane warrior. Okay, let's check our status. That's our equipment, our stats, HP and MP, next level, and total experience. Okay, that's pretty self-explanatory. We have a save option. I, I did save a little bit earlier just when I was goofing around. I didn't really play too much. So, yeah, confirm. Am I saved? I guess I am. Okay. And then system. Background volume. You can mute it. You can auto dash. Instant text. Yeah, I'm going to keep that the way it is. Easier to read that way. And then we have items, which we have none. Wait a minute. Weapons? We have none. Armor? We have none. Okay. So, let's explore. Time to strike the final blow to Verana has arrived. Alright, well, let's go talk to our douchebag mom. Magus, you will follow your father's orders this time. Father's orders be damned. How dare you defy your father like this. Magus, you will obey him. This conversation is over. I will do as I wish. <laughs> really? You ungrateful little wretch. Very well. You want to defy your father? Then go to the Varanian fort northwest, northeast of here and reap the consequences of that choice. Your sentiment is noted and ignored. <laughs> wow. Way to talk to your mom there, guy. So, apparently this kingdom right here is, uh, well, they're fighting for Rana, I guess. So, uh, yeah. Let's explore a little bit. Let's, uh, let's check out stuff. I mean, can we find stuff like in, like in older RPGs? Found it. Ooh, there's a suit of armor. Ooh, look at that. I found something already. A bedroom key. I wonder what that's used for. Yeah, the, right there where I talked to the mom, that's as far as I played it before when I was testing. Oh, hey, we used the bedroom key. Nice. And this is the bedroom. Whose bedroom is it? I like the way they did the uh, the scroll effect there for the um, location, but my, but I thought, what? It's like a teddy bear, huh? Wow. So yeah, I'm just going around hitting the button to see if I can find anything here. The volume is entitled "The Works of Najiro." It's, it is with a heavy heart that I write this, for I've seen it. I have seen in a vision the end of our noble kingdom and its people. It begins with the birth of a very special child under the next black eclipse. Our finest minds have calculated that the black eclipse will take place in only a few months and everything we know will change. I have tried to tell the king and queen, yet it was to no avail. They would not listen to me, so I am tasked with at least recording this fateful event on parchment. The black eclipse, the day when the world is overcome with piercing darkness, darkness without end. For one whole day there will be no sun to warm us, to bathe us in its light. To, whom, to whomever reads this, be thee friend or foe, know this, that this child when grown will become a great dark lord of us all, and yet this very same child will be the one to save us all in a war so terrible, so fearsome that it will blot out any other war known to us. It has a name, the War of the Abyss. Interesting. And the rest is unreadable. Okay. And we found an Ultra Elixir. What is this about? And okay, I like the description. It's at the bottom of the screen there. Completely restores HP and MP of all characters. Hey, hey. So it's like a Mega Elixir in Final Fantasy games. Let me get a potion. What's that? Uh, restores 50 HP. Okay. Alright, that's 
sounds pretty self-explanatory. What is, uh, what's this? And that, uh, okay. Uh, how do you dash in this game? Oh, okay, it's this button. Alright. Well, that helps. Okay, this is the Wee Grand Manor. Can we talk to our mom again? No, she don't want to say anything to us. Alright. I seem to recall hearing Lord Exodus speak about the Black Eclipse recently. Why even mention it, though? It happened nearly 18 years ago, after all. Oh, okay, so that must mean that our character here, Magus Lee, is actually, well, around 18 years old. So, you know, he's, he's at least not a kid. You know, we're not, like, 10 years old saving the world or something in, like, Final Fantasy games. Yeah, she is a cold woman. What a total bitch, man. I don't like my mom. Yeah, I have heard this right. I kind of know already that this game is kind of a darker game, so, uh, viewer discretion is advised if you care about that sort of thing. I probably, I never say that in any of my videos, but, whatever, I, I figure most of you don't mind that I swear if you still watch my videos, so. When Shanadora's culture ended, so too did the rule of many dark deities. A few survived, though, and one of them was the dark god, Azizus. Okay, Hazizus, said to be one of two ancestral deities of the Lee family and their patron god. Fallen goddess Shide. All things began at Shanadara and that is why that is where many things ended. It was said that several powerful dark gods lived on. One of those was the fallen goddess Shaddai. Yeah, I think I, I think it's Shaddai, not Shaddai, Shaddai. Said to be one of two ancestral deities of the Lee family. So what, there's a freaking goddess that's uh, part of the Lee family, okay, or of the family. I don't know. This war will be over soon, and we will emerge the victors. Okay. Finally, we will make our last strike against Verana. Yeah, okay, I'm not going to read anymore. I'm sick of reading already. Yeah, there's only so much reading I could do before my voice box starts to uh, explode. Plus, I just get sick of doing it, and then I get tongue-tied, which uh, isn't a good thing. Oops. Yeah, maybe. I like how the uh, the NPCs actually have uh, have different stuff to say. Uh, no, I'm not leaving yet. Ooh, look at that treasure trove. What do we get there? So I can see your passage. Is there like a room I don't know about or something? Oh, okay, so we get another potion in that sack there. Uh, I suppose there's a way to get over there somehow, huh? I like the music in this castle. Pretty nice. Yeah, okay, I already, already talked to him. So let's get all these uh, these treasures. 200 SC were found. Sturgeon coins, stern coins. I'm I don't even know. High potion, nice. Crystal shard. What is some of this stuff? Completely recover. Complete recovery when used at Shenandoahian crystals. Oh, okay. And then a high potion restores 500 HP. Mid potion, more mid potions, and high potions, and currency, and phoenix feather. And okay, I'm guessing what is a phoenix feather like a phoenix down? Okay, cool. So 
So let's keep exploring this uh, bee manor. Okay, we're in the west part of the Grand Manor. Let's talk to this fellow. Reading about how this war came about, apparently the Varanian royalty refused to give their blessing to then Chancellor Exodus to marry Lady Shara. As a result, their refusal of their refusal. Oh, okay. So Lord Exodus was actually originally from Varania, Varania or Varania. Sorry if I. Sorry, Kizara Studios, if I'm butchering your translations here, or your pronunciations. I shouldn't say translations. I think this is a. I think this is a. Uh, a Western RPG, actually. Done in a JRPG style, so yeah, that might be nice. These Japanese ones nowadays are kind of going to shit, I must admit. It's all about graphics and not enough about gameplay and story. Yeah, I keep hitting that button think it's the dash button. I wish I could figure out how you change the buttons for this. See what pauses the game. Okay, what did I just hit? How do I unpause it? Oh, that pauses and then... Oh, that pauses and that cancels. Okay, wow, that's a... <laughs> I mean, I don't see a place where you can actually edit the buttons, so I'm just kind of like pressing buttons and hoping for the best right now, so... Your mother has been seen frequently frequenting the library much more than normal lately. I dare say she actually looked worried. Worried about what? Alright, so that's the western part of the manor, I suppose. That's where we just were. We were just in there to... Yeah, I think I talked to them. I guess we'll leave. I think we've explored everywhere in this manor. And, okay, we're outside the Lee Estate and Sabra. Okay, so what is this? Her, uh, what is this, his sister, I guess? Brother, I was starting to worry. No need to. It was utter nonsense anyway, as per the usual. Magus, you should not speak ill about our parents like that. You know better than anyone that... Parents, how huh? you st still think of these two as our parents, my dear sister? Let me tell you something about those two. They stopped being our parents a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, they have apparently. Okay, she's not gonna let us go. Huh? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go to Verana and fight a war, and then we're gonna come back for our sister, because apparently... Apparently Magus doesn't care about his parents, so, uh, yeah. So let's explore this town, I guess. In here. Okay, we get a high potion. Oops, keep hitting that damn button. <laughs> Thinking it's the dash button. Ooh, like, is this a weapon and armor shop? I don't know, but I'm not gonna go in there yet. You cannot go in. Why not? 
You just tell me that the door is locked or something. Uh, thing over here on this stump? No. Damn it. Ugh. I really gotta get used to these buttons. Your lies, Tanya L. Olet, the one woman plague of Rana. Hmm. Ricardo E. Hallis, beloved husband and master of the Lear. Lies, Ceresa J. Bull, beloved wife and friend to all, killed during the Varenian War. Here lies John Cirrus, honored by many for his crafting skills. Okay. Got some nice music playing here in the town. Yeah, damn those Varanians. Even though I really don't have any reason personally to be mad at them because I'm just playing the game, but, you know, it's just part of the story. Can we go down wells like in Dragon Quest games? No, but we can find an elixir. What does an elixir do? Oh, okay, so it's just one character. Alright. That's cool. Damn it. Yes, I will. Or at least I'll try. My parents don't appreciate me. Residence home. Right. What in the hells are you doing in my house? Scat, get out of here. I don't care who you are. Uh, what? Uh, we can say, you old fool now die or very well. Okay, let's <laughs> say the first choice. Really? Seriously, we can kill people in this game? Holy freaking shit, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> Seriously? Wow. That was awfully mean. Well, let's loot the guy's house anyways. I mean, he's dead. He's not gonna have any reason to... to have this stuff in his house anymore. Wow, what a... what a cold thing to do, man. But yeah, I think this is the first RPG where I've actually killed somebody. Like an NPC. Well, besides RPGs like Oblivion and, you know, stuff like that. Oblivion and Skyrim and, you know, more modernized Western RPGs. So let's check out this uh, arsenal. Is there anything we can just lift off this arsenal for free? Guess we will just find out. We will check. And we get a potion. Yeah. Alright. Okay. So let's go behind this uh, thingy. What's this? So I'm take it. That's the armor shop. Welcome to my armor shop. How can I help you today? Okay. We can buy a mithril shield, which is less defense. A mithril helm, which is also less defense. And a mithril male, which, uh, yeah, none of those are, none of those look like they're better than, uh, the stuff I have, so. Not gonna equip it, I mean, it looks like I'm kinda, kinda decked out in armor already, so. And a mithril blade, which has a strength minus two, so yeah, it doesn't look good for me. Hmm. Well, that's it for that, I guess, huh? That's an inn. I already talked to you. Let's check out the inn. I'm hiding away from the rest of the army. I just do not agree with what Lord Exodus is doing. Do you not agree with me, Sir Magus? Ooh, wow. You know, I could kill this freaking guard? Nah, uh, you're a coward. Ooh, we can fight this guy. Uh, skills? Stores a small amount of HP. Let's 
actually have plenty of MP to do this stuff. I'll try this one, I guess. I don't know. So you have Strike, Skill, Defend, and Item. Yeah, I'll try this. Oh, that was... That was easy enough. Underestimating me has been your undoing! We earned 650 experience points. Huh. <laughs> uh, nice. I wonder what happens if we save him, you know, like let him live? I don't think I'll be letting anybody live, to be quite honest with you. <laughs> stay at your inn right now. But, uh, I don't know. How long have I been recording? I'll be right back. Alright, yeah, I've been recording for quite a while now, so I can end the episode right here, I think. So that is all for this episode of Let's Play Chronicles of a Dark Lord Episode 1 Tides of Fate, and in the next episode, uh, we're gonna be exploring the rest of the town and, uh, and going to the next uh, the next location, wherever that's going to be, like Verania or whatever. And it's pretty cool that you can save anywhere you want in this game. I mean, it's not like in uh, Final Fantasy games where you have to save at a save point or whatever. So that's pretty nice. And, uh, yeah, there you go. This is Veto121. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.